Welcome to this virtual tour of the brass department at Surrey Arts. I'm Carl and I'm head of brass and in this video you'll be seeing some of the instruments that we teach in action, uh, hearing some famous music they're involved with as well as some snippets of film music and things like that. At Surrey Arts we offer lessons on the trumpet, the trombone, the tuba and the French horn. Uh, we also offer lessons on brass band instruments such as the cornet, the baritone, the euphonium and the tenor horn. If you're feeling a bit put off as a beginner um, by the size and weights of some of these instruments, don't panic. Uh, for the trumpet players amongst you, we have the plastic trumpet, the P trumpet. And as a beginner, you might want to learn on this for the first few months. And when you feel a bit bigger and stronger, you can move on to something a little bit more grown up. And for the trombone players, we also have the P bone, the plastic trombone, the P bone. These come in different colours, they're quite good fun and they're quite easy to take to and from school until you get a bit bigger and can play a full size one. Um, so, I hope you enjoy this video and you feel inspired to learn a brass instrument. They're great fun, they feature everywhere, you might not realise it, but they're in your computer games, they're in film soundtracks that you'll have heard, um, and you'll find them everywhere really. So, I hope you feel inspired and might want to learn an instrument, and I'll see you a bit later. Over to Jen to explain how the trumpet works. Hi, my name's Jen and I teach trumpet here at Surrey Arts. In this short clip, I'm going to show you a few of the things about what makes the trumpet so great. In order to make a sound on the trumpet, we buzz from here at our lips into a mouthpiece and down the trumpet. The sound comes out here at the bell. In order to change the pitch, we use these three buttons, the valves. There are lots of ensembles that use the trumpet, like orchestras, big bands, jazz bands, wind ensembles, and its smaller sister, the cornet, plays in brass bands. When you start learning, you'll either learn on the B-flat trumpet or the B-flat cornet, but there are lots and lots of different types of trumpet, like this one here, the piccolo trumpet, which is a lot smaller than its B-flat friend. The first exit I'm going to play to you small little extract from Penny Lane by the Beatles, which famously used the piccolo trumpet. Like I mentioned, it's a lot higher in pitch. Trumpets famously play fanfares for big occasions, like this one, written by Beethoven. music though as well. Um, and this is a really nice excerpt that comes from a ballet called Romeo and Juliet by Prokofiev. So it has a harsh, fanfare side, and also a softer, more lyrical, gentle side. Trumpets are used lots in film music. See if you can recognise these two tunes. Tico. And this tends to use a small jazz group, but obviously it's just me at the moment. So you'll have to imagine a string bass, 
a piano and some drums. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in your trumpet soon. Hi everyone, my name is Dominic and I'm a trombone teacher for Surrey Arts. In this video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the different ways in which the trombone is used in loads of different styles of music. But uh, first of all I'll just talk a little bit about what the trombone actually is. So uh, the trombone is an instrument in the brass family along with things like the trumpet and the tuba and the French horn. But the uh, sort of the main difference with the trombone compared to those other instruments is that we have this nice slide and that's how we change notes from a trombone. So rather than using valves like you would on the trumpet, we use the slide. And at the end of the video, I'm going to demonstrate a fun little piece uh, which really uses the slide well, I think. Um, so the trombone can play in loads of different groups or ensembles and bands, you know, ranging from symphony orchestras to wind bands to brass bands, jazz bands, pop groups, rock groups, you know, anything you can think of more or less could have a trombone. So the first little thing I'm going to demonstrate is an excerpt from an orchestral piece and this is by Mozart and it's from his Requiem and this is a very famous sort of trombone uh, movement, it's basically just a big trombone solo. Um, and it's interesting because Mozart used the trombones a lot in his uh, the pieces he wrote with choirs, like the Requiem. And it's because at the time the trombone uh, had the, the range closest to that of the human voice. So the trombone parts would just match exactly what the choir was singing and we're there to basically just sort of you know, help the choir out and sort of bump them up a little bit. Um, and this excerpt is called Tuba Mirum and slightly confusingly that translates to the trumpet shall sound. So you've got tuba, which then translates to trumpet, but it's played on a trombone. It's all a bit confusing, but wouldn't worry about it. Um, and I really like this excerpt, because I think it shows off two really contrasting sort of styles of, of playing back to back. So it starts off with a nice fanfare. It's quite strong and loud. And then it goes into this much sort of more lyrical flowing melody. So I'll just demonstrate that for you quickly now. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully you could hear the difference between the nice strong fanfare and then the yeah the flowing sort of smoother melody towards the end. Um, so that's just one example of a trombone solo in an orchestral piece. But you know, there's lots of stuff out there, lots of a uh, great trombone writing, especially uh, in sort of the later more romantic stuff as well. Composers like Mahler and Bruckner would write really sort of strong, fun trombone parts. But um, so as I said earlier, the trombone can also be used in pop and rock music. Uh, so I've got a few little demonstrations of that for you now. Um, so because the trombone can play fairly low, often we play a bass line. Um, so here's a famous bass line which you might recognise. <laughs> that one. Um, so that's an example of a bass line, but also uh, trombone sometimes has you know melodies and solos in pop music. Not as much as instruments like the trumpet or the saxophone, but it, it does, does happen occasionally. So here's a little example of a trombone solo from a song by Groove Armada, a really cool band. If you haven't heard of them, you should definitely go check them out. So it goes something like this. <laughs> So that's just two little examples of how the trombone is used in sort of more 
uh, sort of yeah, contemporary pop and rock music. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to talk about is film music. So there's loads and loads of great music written for the trombone to accompany films. Um, so I'm just going to demonstrate now uh, two little excerpts from movies you might have seen. This is the first one, see if you can work out what it is. <laughs> is a bit more famous, probably one of the most famous uh, theme tunes out there. It's by John Williams, who wrote things like Star Wars and Harry Potter and Jaws and just, yeah, loads and loads of amazing films. And uh, this is from Indiana Jones, the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and it goes something like this. <laughs> fun because you just get to play all these nice big tunes um, and yeah it's great fun. So that was a very quick whistle stop tour of the different ways the trombone can be used um, and at the start of the video I promised I'd end with a little solo piece which sort of shows off the use of the slide. Uh, so this is a piece called The Acrobat which is very famous amongst trombone players and um, yeah thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Hello again, we now move on to the tuba, which is the largest of the brass instrument family. Uh, when you're starting as a youngster, don't panic, you won't be playing something as full size as this. We do have smaller instruments available, such as this one, which is much lighter, much easier to handle. Um, we also do sit down when we play, which takes the pressure off a little bit. So the tuba, quite often in films and video games, this is used to bring to life comical characters and also because uh, it does make low sounds. It's also very useful when we're trying to uh, create the sounds of something spooky or sometimes scary in films and stories. Um, a great example is in the music of John Williams. John Williams wrote lots of soundtracks, especially for Star Wars and Superman, Indiana Jones, E.T., Harry Potter. The list goes on and on and on. And one of the first films where I recognised the tuba being used in the background um, was in Home Alone. And that's where a boy called Kevin gets left home alone and it's Christmas time and some burglars want to get in and uh, steal some things. And he sets loads of traps and it's a fantastic film if you haven't seen it already. So the tuba can be both comical and uh, friendly as well as perhaps quite scary sometimes. So I'll play you a few clips now and I have some things from Home Alone and also from Star Wars. So see if you can work out who the baddies are and who the, the good guys are. So a 
few things from Star Wars as well. There we had Jar Jar Binks' theme, uh, General Grievous, and finished with the theme played when the Emperor appears. He's quite uh, a scary character. Um, moving on then, and I'll now play a short piece of music by Bach. So Bach was a composer from hundreds of years ago. He was around in the late 1600s. And because the brass family of instruments have only really developed since Victorian times, really, uh, for solo pieces, we often have to borrow music. Uh, so I've borrowed something that would have been played originally by the flute. Um, after I've played that, you'll then hear from Philip, one of our horn teachers, and he's playing uh, the Romance for French horn and piano, with no piano, just him on horn. Uh, and that was written by the French composer Camille Sanson. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed everything so far, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you.